After a few crazy days of shooting in Mazatlan, it was finally time to leave the coast for now and go to a big city, in this case Guadalajara. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Guadalajara. I just left my Airbnb and as you might be able to pick up, um, the sun just set and it's time to film a nighttime episode. And the camera of choice for today will be this puppy here. The Leica Q2, whoa, that's pretty loud, Q2 monochrome and yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I shot this camera at night and today I want to change that because yesterday when I walked around here after sunset there were plenty of people so I think it's perfect for doing some nighttime street photography about settings and all that stuff, as you might know, I will let you know a little bit later on in the video. So without further ado, Q2 monochrome, Guadalajara. Let's go. I know that some would not consider it safe at all to shoot in Guadalajara at night, but I can assure you that I felt totally safe. I've made a video addressing this a little bit more. Check it out if you want to know more about staying safe when shooting street photography. Normally I rarely take photos of street performers, but in this case I thought it looked great with all the cars and the lights. She saw me taking photos and asked me if I would share them with her and I happily did.
Guys, if you want to learn from me in person, check out one of my upcoming workshops. I'll add more dates and locations later this year, so check out my website for more information. You'll find the link in the video description together with a link to my street photography zines and also my Lightroom presets. <laughs> Alright guys, maybe you noticed that the photos look a little bit different than usual. Um, and that is why I'm using a filter on the lens. I don't know if you can pick it up here. It's, it looks clear, but it's not there to protect the lens. Actually, it's a ProMist uh, filter and it's a black ProMist one quarter. So it will diffuse the highlights and they look kind of bloomy. So the lens gets a more like a kind of an old school look, I would say. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's for me the first time trying this at night. Uh, and I think from what I can see on the display, it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's too much or not, but let me know. Do you have experience with uh, a Promise filter? A friend recommended me to use one, or at least to try it out, because he's using it all the time for photos and for video. So this is now my first time using it. And so far it looks pretty cool. So, all right, let's continue shooting and let's try to maybe get some cool highlights in the background and let's see how it looks. All right, talk to you later. Uh, let me tell you about the settings that I'm using. Uh, right now I'm shooting 125th, uh, of course wide open, and I'm using autofocus pretty much uh, for the whole, yeah, pretty much for the whole thing because autofocus is much more reliable. But actually, if you want to know the um, specific EXIF data from one of the photos, just hop over to my website. I will put the link down below, my new blog, because there I will put all the images from this episode and I will put the EXIF data underneath the photo, so you can check it out over there. I think that makes pretty much more sense than giving you a rough idea of what kind of settings I'm using here. So yeah, it's pretty busy here. Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's really good fun. Tomorrow a friend of mine will come here and we will shoot the whole day, so 
it's gonna be awesome. Uh, and maybe I'm filming an episode there with him together. Let's see. All right, guys. Let's continue shooting here. I was wondering why the big plaza was so dark, even though there were many people here, but there was a reason for it. Guys, you should see this. This is actually really dope. Uh, the projection on the church. I don't know if you can see it. Después de un silencio, el gobernador ordenó que se hiciera como decía Doña Beatriz. The projection was really nice, but something like this you have to see in person to really appreciate it. Ah, shit. <laughs> I want to take a silhouette shot of the horse here, but <laughs> they turned on the light. Alright guys, that's it. I'm back at my Airbnb. Um, I would have loved to shoot more, but tomorrow will be a long day, so I think it's better to call it a day a little bit earlier today. And yeah, so what do you think about the uh, Promise filter here? Um, I think it looks pretty cool, as what you can see on the screen. <laughs> it looks pretty nice, so um, there's different. I think there's a, this is a quarter, then there's one eighth. It's a little less strong, maybe I should give that a try as well, um, but so far. I'm really liking this. If you want to see the photos again, um, check out the link in the video description uh, where you can see all the photos, including the access data. And also down there is the link to my street photography scenes. Check them out if you haven't already, because this allows me to um, make more videos like this in the future. All right, guys. Uh, and if you haven't already, don't forget to smash the like button. Yes, <laughs> I'm already tired. Uh, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you know the real, we know each, no, we will see each other very soon again. So for me, technically it's tomorrow, but yeah, you know what I mean. All right, see you on the next one. Until then, uh, auf Wiedersehen.